to another Empires and Puzzles Books video. Today we're going to talk about speed leveling using the Hero Academy and the Alchemy Lab. If you plan ahead and store food in the Alchemy Lab and store feeder heroes in the TCs and in the Hero Academy, uh, when you pull that coveted five star, assuming you have all the Ascension materials, you can fully level them in a, in a few minutes without any cost. So basically the, the answer is storing tons of food in the lab and tons of feeder in the TCs and in the uh, Hero Academy. With this particular video, I was planning for more than a month to do this, so I had overrun my summons uh, in the Hero Cap. So once you hit your Hero Cap, if you stop accepting feeder heroes from your farming, you can still go over the hero cap through summons and through trainer heroes. So anywhere you purchase trainers or grab trainers through through gameplay, they will just go over your hero cap. So you'll see I have a large number of trainer heroes that also makes this go a lot quicker. Uh, it's worth noting, even without all those trainers, I had plenty of feeders in the daily summons that I did not collect and in the TCs. So this speed leveling was going to happen one way or another. Hope this helps all of you and enjoy. So let's go ahead and lock her. And uh, I guess I can back out of here real quick and show you guys how, how I'm gonna do the speed leveling. So I have over 18 million ham stored in the alchemy lab here. There's 400 uh, of these ascensions transmuting in the alchemy lab and they're 45,000 hams each. So there's over 18,000 ham there, so I have plenty of ham. You can see my ham is maxed at the top of the screen. In uh, my TC2 here, I have 1,400 plus feeders down there. In this TC, there's another 290. And this training camp, I was just doing purple uh, three stars, or one, two, or three stars. So I have seven of those ready to go. And then in the Hero Academy, I was draining 27 uh, rare heroes and 27 trainers. That's in addition to the 263 daily summons that I have up top. So we have plenty of feeders and plenty of food to do this. And uh, if you look, my hero cap is a little crazy at 406 and I'm four, 576 over that hero cap right now. So let's do a speed leveling on my new lady. Change this by power. Okay. So I'm not going to have a lot of uh, one star feeders. Most of everything I've been saving were trainers. So we're going to jump in with those one stars, whatever twos I happen to have. Jump into the threes. And that gets us to the first ascension. Keep going with the threes. I'm doing the off colors first since they don't give as much. Some trainers down there didn't mean to do that. Mm. 
throw a couple fours in there. Alright. Now let's back out. And let's collect from here. Oh wait, I, I haven't fed enough yet. Oh yeah, I'm still over capacity. through a bunch of these trainer heroes. Mm. 468. Well, I'm going to have to burn another trainer. Second Ascension. All right, it's time for the four stars to jump in here. go. I just picked up the last two tabards in the last few days, so ready to go to the last ascension. Max skill is special is already maxed. I'm definitely low on food. So let's go into the alchemy lab and pick up food. You know what, before I do that, let's jump back out. I'm gonna clean these, those are all purple. Let's go in here, collect all of them. Collect capacity again.
but everything I pulled out was threes. through a bunch of these trainer heroes. to 480 and I do have some emblems to drop on her once we get to the top. There she is. Santa talent reset. People probably think I'm crazy for doing this in the middle of pirates, but I have four maxed banes. And this one is going to get reset. Let's go back to Marie. Talent grid. And unfortunately, I'm going to get stuck there because I did not store iron. I don't think I'm going to have access to any more iron to get that last it in there but there you have it from summons to talent level six in a matter of 10 or 15 minutes and there is my new voodoo queen appreciate you guys all watching i hope that was fun for you that was interesting for me i'm glad she didn't make me wait forever to get her uh, the rest of those gems there are some questions about what i'll be doing with those gems some of them will be split for uh, the costume event coming up and Valhalla. I try to really only do summons for events now that have ascension chests, but I really wanted Marie Therese. I know some people are asking why. I have some specific uses I want to practice with her. There's a way that I think this hero will be uniquely used, and if that all works out, you can look forward to some future videos on me using Marie in some interesting ways. So again, thank you for your support, and uh, See you on the battlefield.